This is a series of videos that's going to show you how to log history after you've had a conversation with a with a contact. And I'm in the in the sales homepage right now, and you can see I have access to opportunities and accounts and contacts. Uh, if I weren't seeing those, I could click on the app launcher and be able to navigate to sales. But since I'm already there, I can just close it. And what I want to do is to search. Always want to search. Uh, for contacts to see before you add them, uh, do they exist? And I'm going to click enter for her, and what it's going to say is no results. Now, if I uh, were to look and instead enter James, I could see there were two contacts for James that would show up as a preview, and then if I hit enter, it'll actually provide additional details that show me that these are very clearly different people, but it gives me a sense of, of who they are, both as a contact and a lead. Now, I know that uh, she is uh, part of the United Oil and Gas Company, so I want to build a contact within that account. So what I'm going to do is to go out to Accounts, the Accounts tab. And I could also have searched the oil and gas here. Uh, Plenty of other views that I can be looking at depending on kind of what's been set up in your system. You may be seeing different information, but know that again, uh, this, this will give you a sense of it. Uh, if I'm clicking in here on United Oil and Gas, what I see is, is that I already have four contacts. Deb is not one of them, so I have a couple of options. Um, one is I'm going to, I can click a new contact here. Um, I can click a new contact up here. So let's give this one a shot. So I'm going to say, uh, let me know what I can do with this. And this will kind of build me information about the contact. Uh, this inherits um, mailing address information. Uh, the other thing you always want to do is to see that there are, are uh, these um, asterisks identify the fields that are required. Um, and that's a pretty full set of information that we can enter on this contact. Uh, so let's go on ahead and enter Deb's information. And so I've got Deb and I've got Sunrise, actually. So I've now entered her, her name and, and email address. And that's all the required information that I need to put in the system. There aren't any more red asterisks, so I'm going to click Save. Now, the other way that we could have gotten there, that we and you can see now that she shows up here, I also could have clicked a, a new contact from here. And if I did that, uh, notice that I get a, a smaller subset of information. I don't get the full information like uh, kind of birth date and other information but it did um, pick up account name. Um, so, you know, plenty of different ways to get there. Uh, the other option is to go out to the contacts field, or the contacts um, tab. And if I do that, what this shows me is kind of the recently kind of viewed contacts. We just saw Deb because we now know she's there. If I wanted to create a contact here, I've got two choices. One is I can do it from here, uh, and I can create a new contact, or I can do it from here and also create a new contact. Uh, but if we go back to where we were in the beginning, and I look here, uh, and I do a search on Deb, what I do is get her contact now showing. Uh, and if I'm, you know, the goal of all this was to create some history for her. So if we go in on her contact record, um, and these are kind of related links. At this point, she doesn't have any. But if we go to her details, what you're seeing is this, uh, uh, this information is, is static to, as we change it. Over here, uh, this is where we can track on logging a call, new task, new event, and email. And in the additional videos, what I'll do is to walk you through each of those to show you some best practices on how to create them. Thanks for watching, and uh, enjoy the next ones.